So let's continue with our JavaScript walkthrough for Code Academy. So now we're going to be doing the dog ears problem. So let's read through this, then we're gonna we'll do all of this. Let me just, I think I did this before, so let me just remove, delete all, the, all of this. Alright, so dog mature as fast as human beings. We often say a dog age can be calculated in dog years to account for their growth compared to a human of the same age. In some way, we could say time moves quickly for dogs, alright? So, eight years in human life equals to, or, okay, 35 years in dog's life, how do you be for a dog? Okay. So, here's how to convert from human years to dog years. The first two years of a dog years count as 10.5 dog years each. Alright, so the first two years of a dog's life is this. Each year following the right to restart. Alright, alright. Okay, so let's do it. Let me just untick all of this. We're gonna start from scratch. Alright, so let's start. So the first task is to create a variable. Alright, let me just close that. Let's start coding. What is this thing popping up every time? To create a variable named my age. Is it equal to your age as a number? Right. So you're gonna use let my age say in all right so then we have create a variable named early years and save the value two to it note the value saved to this variable will change so we will use let again because it's a changeable variable we can also use var but i will use let and step three is Use multiplication assignment operator to multiply the value saved in the early years by 10.5 and reassign it to the early years variable. So you're gonna just do early years, early years multiplication equals then 10.5. Uh, that's done let's go over here multiply the later years variable by four to calculate the number of dog years accounted for you by user all right so multiplying this number later years all right now so actually we have to say the variable equal to a value all right we didn't do the fourth step my bad so we have to do this step now since we already accounted for the first two years Take the my age variable and subtract two from it. Alright, so my age plus two, my age minus two. Alright. Set the result equals to the variable called later years. So it's going to be called another name already. So it's going to be later years. Let's go over to the next line and we're gonna do this. Multiply the later years variable by four. Calculate the number of dog years accounted for your later age. Use the multiplication assignment to multiply assign one step. So multiplying this number later years variable by four to calculate. So you're gonna calculate this real quick. So later years multiply four. Let me see what variable you're gonna save it into. Because they didn't say anything. So if you would like to check the work, print early years and later years on the console. So I think it's the this variable you just gonna save it like that. Let's do console log later years. Let me just actually it's later years that let me just log this comma and this and let's run it can we run it 2164 okay okay so add early years and letters together and sort in a variable name 
So you're gonna add the two variables and I'm gonna save it over here. So early years later is years. Let's use a string method. Write your name as a string. It's, you just have to make a new variable called my name. My name equals to my name. Then we're gonna do to lowercase instead of value arise. So to lowercase, we're making it lowercase. And then we are storing it over here. That's all that for the this one. So console log gonna log this. For this, we're gonna actually use the template string, your template literal thing. So my name is we're gonna put a dollar sign and like that. We're gonna do my name. So I'm in human age year old. I am the human age is gonna go here. All right. So which one is the human age? is my age so it's this one my age the dog age is actually my age in dog years so it's this one so my age in dog years let's save it process is working <clears throat> so this problem is completed and now let's move on to the next question so what is this i think this is a survey can we skip it i think no all right so what brings you to customer change my career blah, blah, blah. or let me just skip to this we have a quiz so which of the following person would cause an error so let's see so so this one will cause an error because we are defining the variable with const and we are trying to reassign it so that's gonna is gonna give an error so let's move on to the next one so what is the outcome of the statement so it's high dollar length so it's one to three so it's going to be three three is printed uh, this one which of the following example is a single line comment it's a single line comment is this one what are variables used for in Java? For changing, for the variables for changing, for storing, holding data. This one. What is string <coughs> interpolation? So it's the string literal. So let me see. Using string literal to embed variable. Yeah, this one. Let's go move on to the next one. So what is the correct way to call random or math? So it's going to be math or random. So it's this one. What is the outcome of the following code snippet? It's going to be hello world. So hello world, hello world. Which one is it? All right, so it's this one. What is the correct way to call a string built-in method? So it's a string. I think it's the first one. So two uppercase. Yeah, this the, it should be the first one. Let me see all these. So it's, a, it's What is the correct way to declare a new variable? that you can change so a new variable you can change should be one of these let me see so this this one, this one because you don't have anything before this value name this, and this is a const you cannot change and this is wrong syntax as you can see over here We're using a semicolon because we need to make an equal so what will the following code print to the controller so it's num is equals to num times 3 so it's 30 and what is string concatenation is when you add two strings let me just see by right, this one are you got a hundred percent score let me just go on to the next one so javascript version es6 and before so es6 is actually a newer version of javascript that has cool features we're gonna learn about that later on so this is an arrow function very cool stuff you don't have to write a return over here to return anything from this function it does everything automatically so it's very cool i think we are done with our first section
now i think the next one is conditional statements all right so we are up here over in conditional statements so i'm gonna just open up my thing over here on my console so i can explain things better so let me just make it bigger all right so let's go close that for a conditional statement so i think i will read a little bit because they have a better explanation than i will give basically in short it means you're trying to make a condition and if a condition is true then you're gonna execute some code so like a simple for example would be like clicking this next button on the code academy so click next and if this condition is met then you're gonna move on to the next page so this is like a condition thing you can check for basically that's the main purpose so let me just read a little bit over from here so in life we make a Decision based on circumstances. Think of every day decision as a right. So decision is falling asleep. If you're tired, you go to bed. Otherwise, we wake up and start our day. This if else decision can be. They are giving like a real life example. So if we sleep, and if sleep, then we sleep. And then else we're gonna start our day. So basically, that's like a simple summary so let's start this section so i think now we're gonna learn some code so if statement basically if i show you guys over here so remember first we talked about some data types and there is something called a boolean there is a thing called true this is a value and this is also a value true and false so these are called boolean to make a condition you have to make some sort of condition that's gonna turn to a true or a false so this can be made with comparison operators and uh, any other operators that we use so they didn't actually write anything over here I'm, go I'm gonna just show you real quick so if we i want to like compare something like 5 equals to 5 so we do this so this is gonna turn into a boolean value of true or false so since 5 is equal to 5 is giving us true but if we do like 5 is equals to 6 is going to give us false so this operator is a comparison operator it's going to check if the two values are equal so if it's equal then it's going to give us a boolean of true or false and you can put this inside a condition it's called the if statement you can put that inside if statement and if the thing is true then any code inside the block over here on the curly braces is gonna get executed so very simple stuff so if something is turns to be true then you're gonna execute anything over here so let's say console log high it's working right but if something is false it's not gonna work as you can see it's not printing anything so same thing you can just make any sort of condition over here so 5 equals to 5 this is going to be turning to true so this is why this condition is gonna work but if i do 5 is equals to 6 it's not gonna work so this has to be true or it's not going to run this block of code that is that is inside the curly braces so let's see what we have to do over here is the instructions using the let keyword declare a variable called sale assign the value to true so you're gonna make this variable real quick sale and it's gonna be true all right next or you have to run it now create a if statement provide the if statement a condition of sale inside the block if statement console log time to buy so <coughs> to make a if statement you have to write if then you have to write the parentheses like this then you have to move, move the curly braces and we're gonna i'm gonna just make some space over here and inside the parentheses what we're gonna do is make a condition in this case they're just telling us to put this variable inside here so it's already true so it's gonna run so if sale so it's it's gonna turn into true so this variable is true if sale is true then we're gonna console log something so it's gonna console log time to buy that is our code pretty much over here so let's run this and here let's see what are they saying so notice that the code inside the if statement ran 
since time to buy was logged in the console beef below the sale variable declaration but before the if statement reassign the sale variable to false run your code so they're telling us to make it false so basically if this is false this is not gonna work so we're not gonna get anything in the console so it's just for testing let's move on to the next section which is the else statement so after a if you can make two other statements which is the else and the else if so in here we're gonna learn about the else statement only so so if a condition gets like false then you can write like make another block let's gonna run if uh, something is false so basically we are saying is time to wait for sale so if something is false then make another condition inside the else statement so it's time to wait for sale is gonna be on there we're gonna just do like this so you write else and this time we don't need to put the parenthesis because we don't need it because the condition is already declared over here we're gonna do console log time to wait for sale full stop so that's our program for this part all right i got an error what did i do wrong did i misspell something let me just copy this over here we do this and sale um sale is false console log all right yeah i'm pretty sure i did something do, do the string that was not correct let's move on to the next section is it? <coughs> now we're going to learn about comparison operators so comparison operators are going to Ev evaluate to some boolean so it's going to give us true or false depending on the condition we are checking and we are comparing so we have many sort of symbols over here so less than greater than greater than less than then equal to then we have is equal to not equal to we have all sorts of stuff so these are our ones so let's see over here so this is for comparing if a value is smaller than another one and we have comparison operators like this you can check a string with another one if they are equal they is gonna give us true or false depending on that so it's very simple stuff we just have to put the comparison operator then we just have to put like two values so it's going to be the first value as a string numbers or anything boolean anything you want and second value don't send second value so if they match then it will give us true or false depending on which condition or which compression operator we are using so let's do the instructions so instruction number one using like here a variable called hunger level so let's make it hunger level equals to seven and let's run it real quick Right, so right uh, if a statement using a block so if hunger level is greater than seven so the condition should be time to eat so hunger level if the hunger level is greater than seven it should like time it's time to eat you're gonna print to the console so if hunger level is greater than seven you're gonna print to the console right over here time to eat and then else we can eat later so else console.log is going to be we can eat later i think that should be it and then after you press around play around with the condition take a bit all right so by using different operators and everything you can try that out yourself it's going to be helpful when learning this so now you're going to learn about logical operators so there are three logical operators we have the and or and not so basically what they do let me just show you a real practical example over here so if we have the logical operator and between two booleans so like true and true all right all right so it's not and it's actually the double double and like this 
So after doing that, so the two values they both have to be true to for this whole expression to get true turn into true. So basically if something is false, the thing the result over here is going to be false. So both must be true to get the final result to be get true. But we have another one called R, which is the two pipe like this. So if in this you just need a minimum of one condition or one boolean to be true so anything can be false so one if one is true then it's gonna work but if both is false it's not gonna work and not the last one is not so basically invert the thing basically the opposite of false is true and the not true is false basic things all right so let's make this program over here so in manager there is there two variable mode and hardness level let's create an if it's statement check if mode is sleepy hardness level is greater than and so you're gonna check if both are true let's make it real quick so mode is equals to sleepy and we're gonna make like this i'm gonna check is hardness level i'm just gonna copy this so I don't do any mistakes in spelling. So it's greater than eight. Then we're gonna. I think we're gonna print something. Let me just see what should we print. If both condition equals to true, console log time to sleep. All right. So console log time to sleep. Else, no bad time yet. So we're gonna make an else. Console log no bad time yet run you're gonna play around with this little bit so you get, you get an error so any condition did you check for all right so we there i think there's thing for making this three equal all right let's go over here the true t false c i think this is a simple program i hope let's see to change the value of work count so that it, it's it is truthy the value should be a number word count all right all right so after make this change your code all right so we have to make this work so so another thing is we can also do one for true zero for false they are both same so we're gonna just make it one it's gonna be true and it's gonna work and let's move over to here change the value for favorite parrot so that it is still a string but false all right so we have to let me just see we have to make is this as a string but it should be false so should be an empty string i believe let me just make it an empty string let's see all right that there we go the default see as said man and another one all right let's see how this is gonna work so basically what we have to do is we have to assign a value over here which is pen only we're gonna assign pen to this only if tool is empty so if tool is empty then we're gonna assign pen over here like this so it's going to be tool or going to be the pen and just make a thing but let's run it notice that mm, text the pen is much higher than the sort log to the console with, all right all right so but tracing the value to make it let's see okay so this is just a test you're gonna change the value to maker and see what's gonna happen okay let's go ternary operators so ternary operators help you in some cases if you want to make a condition and everything in the same line you can make it with a ternary operator so first is the condition then you make a question mark then you put the Thing is if it's true then what you're gonna evaluate is going to be the first one then you put the semicolon the second statement is the thing we're gonna put if something is false so refactor or edit the first if statement to turn on your operator so this one 
don't, we don't have to do anything we, we're gonna just remove this if statement real quick and the else statement as well so let me just remove that that's removed so it's going to be a question mark and here we're gonna put the semicolon and that should do the job so let's run it effect or the second if all right so the second one is this one it's same thing we're gonna just remove this if statement and this else statement and i put primary operator and colon over here semicolon and let's run it and we got an error i think it's because of this let me make it real nice and sweet let's run it Effector the third one right now it's the same thing again let me just do it real quick so it's the question mark over here and the semicolons goes over here let's run it else if statement so this is another statement which you use to check more than one condition like this so if something is true instead of going over to else we can check another thing is true or not then we're gonna check another thing and so basically for multiple condition checking we use this so let's do this the instructions let's create a program that keeps track of the way the environment changes the season all right so in many days there are already an if else statement in the place let's add an else if statement that checks for season equals to winter we can just make a real quick else if statement so if the season equals to winter then we're gonna put the curly braces then we're gonna print this over here so it's going to be a console the log very simple stuff let's run it so another else if statement all right so we're gonna make another one season equals to fall if it's true let me just remove the extra gonna print this so console the log this and let's run it all right we got an error which is let me see why did we got an error so else if season right so we missed the hard equal sign over here the final condition is going to be summer else if season equals to summer then we're going to be printing this thing right over here the log Let's run it but this should work let's do the next one so the switch keyword so instead of doing if else if else if a lot of time we can do is if we want to compare some value we can make a much easier approach which is the switch statement or the switch keyword yeah the switch statement we use for checking like if there's something value is equals to like more values so we have this value first place then we're gonna check it with something so we're gonna use it as switch. switch statement is much more like neater and cleaner so i'm gonna just copy this real quick and we're gonna make it or let's make it from scratch so let's create a switch inside over here we're gonna put the variable you're going to check so it's this then you're gonna put the curly braces and we're gonna type case like this over here and then in here we're gonna put the value and to check and every time we're gonna break out of the switch statement here so we check something so let's see what we have to check so let's write a switch statement to decide all right so this variable is already created cut by using uh, all right start by writing a switch statement with this as its expression so so this should be good for the first step and inside we're gonna check some stuff so first case is going to be first place if it's first place we're gonna put the semicolon inside here we're gonna put the code that's gonna run 
that's this you got a gold medal so let's see console the log then you're gonna break out of the switch statement case second case is second place so you're gonna do this console the log keep writing a nine every time <laughs> so it's going to be got a silver medal silver medal and then the final case which is third place let's do first breakout over here case third place third place and it's going to be you got a bronze medal console the log you got the bronze medal then you're gonna break out of the program so this should be work let's wait for it so now so what are we doing over here is you're checking or over here over here and over here so if the value the athlete final position is similar or the same not similar same as the thing we are checking so if it's if it's the same then we're gonna log something and this break means we're not gonna check for further we're gonna break the program and we're gonna move on to this line or line 14 over here we're gonna move on to the line 14 we're not gonna check anything else if we don't have the break so it's gonna still work but we're gonna check for the other ones as well and we can do the last part which if something all of this fails and nothing is like met nothing is matching then we can make a default so this default over here uh, i show you guys the syntax is same same as the other ones so if we get a default uh, which is the all the cases doesn't match you're gonna console log this then you're gonna break out from the program right so let's run it 